They'll be calling you a radical. Video killed the media star. Listen, I'm going to fucking take this to the next fucking level. Our post ignorance, our gig. It's been two years. Two years. 11, 11, 11. That horrible, horrible day. When That day that I thought I was going to pass. The day that I was admitted to the bone marrow transplant center. Critically ill. Fucking now to fucking shriveled up to fucking nothing. Now to death. Went without food and water for months as you guys people watch that horrible, horrible battle. Wow, what a fucking two-year fucking journey, huh? I want to talk about my post-ignorance project, this whole fucking tent that I've thrown over all these fucking social issues a long fucking time ago. I stood in Washington Square on the winter of 20 fucking 10 with my post-ignorance fucking signs. I've talked about social inequality. I've talked about the police state. I've talked about all this so much to fucking not and it's so fucking many. But one thing trumped it all. Fukushima trumped it all. Fucking what part of Fukushima do you not fucking get? All you fucking political, political ideologues, you fucking people have divided up. Let that fucking ideological fucking nightmare fucking take you to your fucking grave. It's going to do you no fucking good. No fucking good. When you're dying of fucking cancer. So I'm declaring Black and Yellow Friday. Black and Yellow Friday, the day after Thanksgiving, we're going to set up a protest at every single nuclear plant in the United States. All 104 of them. There's actually 252, but we'll stick to the 104, the big ones we see shot up in the fucking air. And I don't care if one single person goes to each fucking one. It doesn't matter because this is not about fucking quantity. This is about quality. We have fucking leaders. Steve Grant said it in D.C. so good. We have leaders. You obviously led yourself here. I cannot overstate this. How spontaneous is I was marching down Constitution, leading that fucking march. And I had one of those epiphany moments in my fucking life. The only other time I've had one of those epiphany moments like that in the last, fuck, 20, 30 fucking years was down at the San Onofre hearing when Joni Ray and I exposed the fake fucking union workers. And I told her, they're fucking done. Sons is fucking done. I could tell you. I knew it in my soul. I had that fucking moment marching down that fucking street. I didn't even realize it until I watched the fucking video content. Thank you, Not a Wolf. Can you, oh, what beautiful fucking video he fucking shot. How great was that fucking video? I think it's so iconic that, you know, I slept on the bench with a kid from San Diego, slept on the other bench. He let me borrow a sleeping bag. You know, I felt like Kit Carson. If you don't know the story of Kit Carson, anyway, I'll go into that later. But look. We need to set up all 104 reactors and fucking protest. Travel Fukushima, Japan, you are already there. I made these days three. Anybody doesn't know my fight and know my path, my small army out there, you know who you are. Karen Lanny showed up in freaking Baltimore. I have you everywhere. My small army, you're there. We need you. It's time. It's time for our small army to fucking rise up. I call this the post-ignorance project as the Manhattan Project. We need the greatest minds. We need the greatest activists. We need the greatest scientists. We need all, not the ones that are fucking Uncle Tom fucking whores down there at the Livermore fucking lab at fucking Berkeley. You fucking, and you generally, fuck them! Fuck them! We need the freelancers. We need the PhDs that are out of fucking work. We need the youth to fuck shit. And we need anonymous. We have tapped into something. That video, that young man carrying that little red fox. When I woke up on the bench over there, what was running around the Washington Mountain? A little red fox. I'll show you guys something at the end of the video. This, they say it's the biggest red fox. This guy says he's ever seen. That's hanged on my fireplace since 1980. They weren't native here. He was killed accidentally. He's iconic around here with my family in a lot of ways. I think it's so powerful how spawn. I had an epiphany moment right then. I really did. This is going to work. This is the French Revolution. This is the American Revolution. It really is. It really is. It's happening right here, fucking right here now. Somebody asked me, oh, it was asked to John, too. It was asked to so many people about, well, Occupy had millions of men. It doesn't fucking matter. I don't give a fuck how many fucking people different movements had. Don't you think it's iconic or ironic? 
It's just like, I understand the fucking anger. Don't you think every fucking answer they have, the Alex Joneses of the fucking world, the fucking Glenn Becks of the fucking world, all them up, that fucking answer always costs you money. Oh, buy guns so we can sell you bullets. Oh, fucking buy organic fucking plants so we can sell you fake organic fucking food that's not really fucking organic. Oh, I'm Al Gore, fucking, heh, you know, fucking, do this, do that, well, fuck, I'm a phony fucking molesting fucking creep who tip, and that's from Tipper's words, not mine who builds a fucking house and sucks up $8,000 fucking worth of energy a fucking month. Fuck all these phony fuckers. Fuck them all. From A to fucking Z. Fuck the celebrities. Fuck them all. Fuck all these people. We're the workers and we're the fucking doers. We, we need to fucking have the Post Ignorance Project. Black and Yellow Friday. I'll start organizing it. We'll fucking 104 fucking plants. And we'll show up at every plant the day after fucking Thanksgiving. I don't fucking... Buy any of that shit. And if you're making up any shirts, there was a young woman at our protest who passed out these shirts, Made in America, and she had authenticity. This company that she worked for makes it, they, they trail all the way to the cotton field, who worked in the cotton field, no illegal labor in the cotton field, fucking where the cotton was grown, where the looms were, verification all the fucking way down. It was so powerful, it was so great. You know, people fucking showed up all over. This is a new breed of activists, man. The old fucking school activists, I don't fucking even give a fuck. Your fucking ways have been such a fucking failure. People can pull back on me all day. I don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. Thomas Ackerman knows my gig. Post ignorance. Stacey Anderson knows my gig. Diane still knows my gig. Dave Parrish. Jan Miss Mookie the Clown. They all know my fucking gig from fucking day one. This is long before Fukushima happened. My post-ignorance is post-ignorance. It throws a tent over all this. But the crowning jewel is nuclearism. Megan Rice could have picked any fucking thing she wanted. Anything. She's the daughter of Dr. Some woman calls me and said, when are you going to come to Manhattan? Pro Fuck, we just got back from Manhattan protest. At Washington Square, where everything fucking happened. Yeah, we had a small... Oh, yeah, we... I mean, but look who the army is. Look who those people that show are. This isn't about fucking huge numbers. This is about leadership. This is about quality. We have it. We're going to fucking change the world. And I told person who wants it, don't fucking underestimate me. Don't fucking, all you fucking rats, this fucking John Doe in Japan has been attacking me now. You know, I got a bunch of these fucking rat fucking trolls. Don't, uh, quit fucking wasting my time. I'm busy trying to save your fucking pathetic fucking lives. And to the police force, fucking, the repressors out there. Look. Just because the higher apparatus is telling you to repress doesn't mean you repress. You are us. The working force police officers, the Marines, the Navy. We need the Marines so fucking bad. that I, I'm head of the Atomic Marines was for years. Nuke my father. Look what nuclear fucking did to you, Marines. Look what they did to you in Fallujah. Look what they did to you at fucking San Leifre at Pendleton. I mean, I'm as Semper Fi as it gets. To the Navy, the USS Reagan, all the, look what they fucking did. When's the Navy and the Marine? We need you on our fucking team. We need Anonymous. We need all you fucking youth. We need you with your baby fox. We love that. We need all of you. We need to love the fucking mammals. We need to love the people. We are all in this together. The jet stream fucking circled us. We need to start at the top. We need to rise up. This isn't trickle-down economics. A golden shower on our fucking heads. And all you people that pull back... Say, fuck, I'll tell you what, right here, this simply, I refuse to fucking climb on the fucking rail car. I refuse to take the shower willingly. I'm not going to do it. This is the Pacific Genocide, and the Pacific Genocide is fucking killing you and your fucking family. Is this done intentionally? All right, It doesn't matter if it's intentional or It's happening. Cancer rates are spiking. What part of Fukushima do you fuckers not understand? You black and yellow journalistic fucking CNN whores. All you fucking whores. It's going to kill somebody in your family. Somebody in you fuckers. I'll tell you what. I believe that life is a test. I believe it is. And I believe our souls will take the next place. Einstein, fucking, we are energy. Energy never ceases to exist. I'm, I want to go to Livermore Live at fucking Berkeley. And all you fucking marine biologists, you fuckers, do we need to rent the fucking SS Middle and go on a three-hour fucking tour? Well, fuck that. We'll do that, too. I'll fucking do it. And every one of you, we're going to do this the day after Thanksgiving. Black and yellow. And fuck shopping for all these fuckers lined up for their fucking Bill Walmart Clinton fucking slave fucking goods. Who the fuck wants the fucking junky-ass shit? I was dating this girl a few years ago, a real beautiful girl, and I went on my tirade about fucking 
you know, Walmart and his fake goods and all this fucking kick, kiss the ring fucking repression bullshit. And she says, well, why don't you make homemade goods? My daughter piped up, oh, he does and always has. I want to show it black and yellow Friday. We'll protest it all 104. I don't care if it's one single person because I'll tell you, the one person that organizes at that plant and stands there, oh, you'll be remembered in history and your place will take, your soul will soar. To fight is to live. Live like you have cancer before you have fucking cancer. Let me show you this. He was killed accidentally. Stay on tune it.